This is the Malibu Van 600 LE. It's a six meter long camper van. And let's have a look at it. Right, to start off with, we have this rather elegant, although you may think differently, uh, an entranceway lit up like this with the logo for the M, which I think is comparatively recent. Now, up there we see a uh, storage in the bulwark, which I shall demonstrate to you uh, in a moment. On the left hand side, we've got here we've got the entrance step, which I won't uh, show how it works because there's something in front of it. And we've got here the lights. So I'll turn the lights off and turn the lights back on again. This is a ki kitchen extender, gives you a little bit more workspace. Of course, you've got the table there, should you so need it. Now, as you come in, you've also got this raised floor here. So you've got uh, the heating uh, ducts at uh, two, two down there. And in here, you've got a bit of storage space. For your spare cans of beer. Oh, I've just knocked the lights off. Right, this is the uh, driving position, and as you can see, it's on six, uh, six speed Fiat Ducato. Now, uh, some of the uh, Malibu vans now have got rid of the bulwark above the driving position, which I personally think is a good idea. But uh, if you need the storage, which I'm now going to demonstrate, it's up there. And you can certainly get your bedding in there or something like that. Bear in mind that everything to do with camper vans or motorhomes in general or RVs, it's compromise. This van is 6 metres by 2 metres, so that's 12 square metres. And if you've got a house or a flat, which is 60 or 80 or 100 square metres, it's clear that you can't have the same facilities. And I certainly see comments uh, on under my, uh, videos that I've done where people seem to think that they can have the same facilities. It's just not possible. Right, a very positive feature here is this very large light and uh, which allows lights to stream in from outside here. I'll show you this as well. And you can have a television up there as an option if you want. So I'll sit down in my favourite seat and tell you a little bit about what it says here. Right, so you've got the price there, that's, that's the kickoff price, 47700 including VAT at 19%. And um, if it's exported then there's an, out of the European Union, then the VAT uh, is minus the VAT of course. But, 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 you'll have to pay taxes in the place of import. So you can put this on a, um, a gross vehicle weight between 3.3 .3 to 4 kilos. It's uh, five, six meters long, 205 wide, 259 in height. And at the back, uh, we've got uh, the beds 196 centimeters long uh, by 102, or alternatively 185 long by 900. Uh, uh, sorry, 90 uh, centimeters, uh, uh, depending on the option actually taken. So um, you can have like that as it is at the moment, which is more or less a double, or you can have it like that, which is more or less a single. Now, um, what I, I do need to point out, though, there is a negative point here, which I'll come to. As I'll say it's the last thing here. The gas cabinet can only take two times uh, two times five kilo cabinet gas. Do that again. <laughs> and the gas cabinet can only take two times five kilo um, gas uh, canisters. It is easily accessible, as is written uh, there. So I'll, I'll translate the rest to you. This is in French. So it's a short, short and compact vehicle uh, with uh, large beds. It has a compact washroom. It has a uh, cupboard for um, lounge is uh, bed, uh, sheets and um, 
and Pondery is hanging space. Now, now I've said this word hanging space, which I thought I made up in English. Now I understand where I got it from. It's the same as in French. Pondery is uh, hanging space. Uh, and it's easy access to a low bed. And um, whereas for many people a low bed is... Um, it's not necessary because you can get in. There are people, of course, who will need the bed to be low, and therefore, uh, it's uh, uh, that's why it, it's it's offered. Of course, it does mean that they lose storage space beneath it, and they, this gas problem I mentioned earlier. You can only have the smaller gas um, canisters. Okay, right. Uh, there's the kitchen. Doesn't fit that way, so what am I doing? I thought, I thought I'd put it, try putting it back a different way and uh, without looking at the thing. I've got the camera in front of me, so I can't see what I'm doing. Right, uh, there we okay, two burners that's relatively standard. Let's have a look down here. Now, compact washroom, it is indeed uh, compact being small, but it, bear in mind the size of the vehicle. The toilet moves in and out to give you more space in there. If we come in, you can see there is, uh, well, there is enough room in the shower to actually stand up properly, although it is aided, of course, by that great skylight, so skylights there, that's that's a super thing, not only for getting light into the washroom, but also for getting more space. As you can see from here, the bed is very low. So your hanging space as such goes here. But what this has of interest is, oops, I can't see, can't see. there you go, there's no, um, bottom to it. I think that's a really good idea. So it allows longer things to be put there. Now I tried something like this in my own van. It didn't work out. I had this idea of putting a, a railing above a above the bed, and this is an idea I had after driving around in a Heimer van 530. And um, I thought, yeah, that it needs more. It needs some hanging space in here, and that's the way of doing it. But uh, it didn't really work out. There you go, for your, well it said uh, for your, your bed sheets, lounge, you can go in there, I think your socks maybe, t-shirts or something, I don't know. Okay, the um, lockers are recessed. But deep inside. In the corner bits there, and this is the thing that Cartagol seems to do even in the big vans. They've got they've got something like this, which seems it's though maybe because you can't get a, a suitable uh, cover for it, and put a net up or or nothing at all. But I think putting a net up is is, is a good idea actually. You can jump us or something, and then you can see what's inside. Fridges, three way fridge down there under the two uh, burner. So here we can actually see see what the under uh, under the bed looks like now. Uh, for 2020, Cartago has introduced a, a double, um, they call, they've called it a double floor, but I don't really think that's the right word, but this partition thing 
uh, down here. That may be necessary if it depends what you're carrying, of course, but could be a good idea. But I'm going to show you now the gas cabinet, and here you can see you've got. You can only put the the smaller, uh, or the, not the smallest, but the smaller ones. Now, if you're just using it for cooking, I don't think it makes much difference. I, I bought my Malibu in uh, January uh, of uh, 2011, and I sold it in September of 2012. And now, so I was living in it in that time, for most of that time. And, and I bought one small gas canister. Mind you, it cost 25, no, 35, 35 pounds. Now compare that to what I just paid, was about 8 pounds 50 to fill the entire gas can, the refillable one I've got. But um, I, I bought a spare. I still had the one that came with it when I sold the van. It, last, it was like it was a magic container. It lasted so long. Incredible. So it sounded, it sounded expensive, but in the end, it wasn't. Great, so if you think that that's of any interest, I have filmed all the full range of Malibu vans, uh, which you'll find on this site. And uh, if that's uh, of any interest, please do have a look. also have a look at my site, motorhomefulltime.com, where I have more information on the Malibu range, as well as many other ranges, and uh, photographs, and of course you can see films of other vans in this series. So, thanks for watching.